Sooner, everybody. You guys know me, I'm Yuri James. Coming up in the next few minutes, we'll get you ready for Sooner football. I know it's still a couple months out, a couple weeks out. But what I mean by that is, it's season po football preview time. All the season football preview shows are starting to hit the cabinets and all that. So it's time for me to start hitting the cabinets myself. We'll start with the first preview for the Sooners. That is the Arkansas State Red Wolves. No longer the Arkansas State Indians. The Red Wolves. Still, though, out of Jonesboro, Arkansas. We'll take a look at them coming up next. Boomer Sooner 1982. You know the drill. Don't go away. Bye-bye. Welcome back to the show, everybody. I think you guys know me. I'm Harry James. The Arkansas State Wolves are from Jonesboro, Arkansas. And they play their football games at Centennial Bank Stadium there in Jonesboro on the campus of Arkansas State. The Arkansas State Sun Devils, or I mean, uh, Red Wolves coming off of a 3-9 overall year, 1-7 in the Sun Belt Conference. Uh, the 1-8 is also 7th best in the West Division of the Conference. They do, however, have a pretty good win, one of their three wins last year, over Louisiana Monroe and the Warhawks. Got them 45-28. Now their coach, Butch Jones, in his second season with Arkansas State, Coach Jonesy is a 1989 grad from Ferris State and has some coaching history, uh, particularly with the last three schools on this list. He's played, Mich he coached, I'm sorry, at Central Michigan 07 to 09 from the MAC Conference, the MAAC. The AAC, he was part of Cincinnati. He was there from 2010 to 2012. Oklahoma visited them. Oh, visited Cincinnati in that market. That's actually the last time they were out there in Cincinnati. Uh, until this year. Well, they will go this season. Tennessee's on the list, too, for Coach Jones. He was very from 13 to 17. Of course, we all know that is where that man behind me, one of the men behind me, Baker Mayfield, had the night of his life. His sophomore season at OU. His sophomore season in college, his first year at OU, had a massive game out there in the fourth quarter specifically. And then Coach Jones right now in the Sun Belt Conference will visit Norman one more time. He will coach the Arkansas State Sun uh, uh Red Wolves this year for... Uh, 2023. Passing leaders. Coming over from big time colleges like Colorado. That's where JT Stroud comes out from. Stroud, while at CU in Boulder, passed for 2,471 yards, seven touchdowns, and eight picks in the altitude. His longest completion. 81 yards in the altitude there in Boulder, Colorado. Not quite so high there in is uh, Tennessee Martin. Not quite as high as the Colorado Buffaloes and the Colorado Mountains, but Tennessee Martin is still where you last year you found the leading rusher that's coming in for this year for Tennessee. That is 21 Zach Wallace. Wallace last year, while part of Tennessee Martin, they handed it to him 170 times to go for 1,226 yards, 16 tugboats, 
including a 97-yard long touch uh, uh, run for Tennessee Martin. Now, finally here, you get a guy that's stable at Arkansas State. Brian Sneed, last year, just 81 carries for the uh, Wolves uh, for the Wolves last Red Wolves last year, but went for 299 yards, six tugboats, 29 was his longest run as a running back for the Red Wolves of Arkansas State. So we talked quarterbacks, we talked running back. Let's talk wide receiver. Wide receiver guys, seven Corey Rucker and 14 Jeff Forrell. Now seven Corey Rucker. That might sound that might sound familiar to Oklahoma homers because last year he caught one pass for South Carolina with the Beamer ball with Beamer dog. But before that, in 2021, with the Beamer dog, uh, Corey Rucker, get this. <clears throat> So this is the year after COVID. 59 total receptions. Should go for 816 yards and through the air. Nine touched nine touchdowns, tugboats. 39 was his longest completion. Uh reception. I'm sorry. 37 was his greatest reception last year. Or I guess two years ago now. Played in one game last year. Oh, Volvo passed for 58, 51 yards. That's it. Only one the one game. Behind him will come Jeff Borum. He caught 30 balls last year for Arkansas State to average 491 yards through the uh, air, four touchdowns in his own right, and a long reception in his own right for 49 yards. That's offense. Now let's talk a little defense. Melquiz Stalker and Gavin Potter. We'll start Melquiz Stalker, the guy that stuck around with Arkansas State as a DN linebacker last year with 81 total tackles last year to go with a forced fumble, zero fumbles recovered, and zero picks. What about a normal linebacker? That's Gavin Potter. 78 total tackles, zero forced fumbles, a fumble recovered, and a pick. It's a linebacker in 2021 at our at Kansas. That's right, the Rock Chalk Jayhawk. Well, our Kansas, 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 our Kansas in the Big 12, Kansas, left the team in 2021 before they got real good. That's offense. No defense. What about special teams? They got a couple of specialists out there. Uh, 91 and punting, and punting for them, number 91, William uh, Perseo. Perseo. 21 punts last year, averaging 43.5 in average, zero touchbacks, five touched it, five balls landed inside the 20-yard line, and a long-distance punter, specifically from 61 yards out. But you know what? You don't want to always punt. Sometimes you want to get points on the board. Well, if you get points on the board, regular kickers. That, or at least for Arkansas State, would be. Dominique Z Zada. Zada, 17 and 18 last year, 94.4 in average percentage completion, and it includes a long ball, a kick. The kicker, 56 yards. That's more than half the field, people. That's pretty good for a kicker. All right. Speaking of pretty good for a kicker, that's. Pretty good for a preview, right? Deep preview. Next week, we'll do another deep preview for Southern Methodist University, SMU. Until then, you guys know me. I'm Harry James. You can check this out on Facebook, Harry James Taylor. It's also up on my Twitter page, SoonerFan1982, or it is on my YouTube, Search1982, over Sooner. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Comment, do all the stuff you need to do, and look out next week for the Southern Methodist preview. Till then, I'm Harry James, and I'm Audi. Peace, Boomer.